This is me with no blood. I'm empty of blood. It looks like a vampire. I'm getting dark. Oh yeah, that's my original color. Oh yeah. Chuck is hitting. He ain't hitting too good. Call somebody. Knows where he is. I do. So I can zoom out here. Watch this. It's in part time right now. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Another video. Yeah, what are you going to call it today? It's a beautiful day today. Hope you guys are doing good today. So. I'm fixing to head to London. London, not London, England, London, Kentucky. Yeah. Fix to go over and talk to a surgeon for my gallstones and see what he thinks we should do. Should we get him cut out or what we should do? So, hope everything goes good. No, I don't like surgeons. I'm scared of them. So, about every, everyone I talk to so far says it ain't nothing. Get your guys on stuck out. Just it's very little. You walk in, get down, walk out, and go home. So, I hope everything works out good. I don't like surgery at all. Do you guys like surgeries? I say you just don't. But, uh,. Too. I don't know. I don't know if do. I don't think we do surgery today. Yet. But I think I probably just go talk to him today. But it really don't matter. Me get done today. Not just hurry up and get it done and over with. Let's go and see what the doctor says, guys. Alright, guys. Just got from the surgeon person who does the surgery. What do you call it? We just left there and now we're here at Big Lots. And I had to come back uh, the 15th to go to the hospital. And they're going to do like a check out, check my blood pressure and all that junk, make sure, you know, everything is all right. Then the next day, then they're going to do the surgery, I guess. But I guess I'm ready for it. I'm scared. I hope I don't die. But yeah, I think everything will do good. I think so. Hope so. They say it won't be much. Just two little spots in my stomach or something like that. They go in. They say like a 30-minute surgery in and out. Don't have to stay or anything. Uh, check this out. This is how you get stuff off shelves. Uh, just missed it. Mama was trying to climb the shelf and she won't ask me to get it. But still, it's all right. No price, it means it's free. And if you see something, no price, it means it's free. They found it. But, uh, yeah. oh, uh, check this out. I started looking at this. But it's like a record player thing. It says it's on clamps. Uh, it says turntable does not turn, and the original price is seventy dollars. It's on clamps for sixty, and the turntable does not turn. I didn't know clamps right there. No, that ain't no sale. Not not for that. No. That's too much. Cause turn 
table don't turn, you really don't know what's wrong with it. Unless there might not be nothing wrong with it. Somebody just brought it back and said it don't turn. Just get the money back. But I just figured it might be worth half that at least. Why was some big line? I was, um, let me roll the cylinder up. You guys can hear me. I was needing a screen protector for my camera. Uh, the lens, the touch screen lens part. The screen, the LCD screen, I already got three big scratches on it. And I need a screen protector because I don't want to destroy a $700 camera. So I went, uh, I was there looking at big lots and I was looking at some screen protector for a phone. And I think I found one that might, might actually work. I show it to you out right here. Let me get this screen clip out here. Let's see what I'm doing. All right. Come this focus thing, a seven hundred dollar camera one focus. This one should have got the Sony, but anyway, it's I guess it's made in New York. <clears throat> Ultra clear, universal. I got a big glass, five bucks. Uh, you can cut it to any size you want, and I got this. Uh, if I, I put it, cut it to put it on my screen, I measured out. I can actually use this twice on my camera screen, so I think it's right here. Be pretty good. I seen a lot. Uh, it shows like a bullet hitting the screen. They ain't actually bulletproof, but you know they actually thick and help your screen out. But this right here do me, I think. This right here will do me just as good as anything. So. Because I use it, uh, I usually take and uh, I usually pack uh, my camera about anywhere I go. Throw it in my pocket or pack it in my hand. Throw it in the, the pop out or the car. Get to the store, get it out, boom. And that usually scratches it up a lot. I need a screen protector back before I actually destroy it. Hope I don't bust the LCD, but I think I'll be alright. Yeah. But, uh. Let's go home and see how the youngins do. Hope they got them off the bus. See, we couldn't make it in time to get them off the bus. I stayed, uh. And the doctor's office talking to a surgeon for, for an hour or an hour and a half or something like that for a long time. So. All right, guys, let's go home and see how his kids are doing. Hope they're doing okay. It's a, it's a rainy day, rainy day. Is it a rainy day? Hmm. Is it a rainy day? Hmm. It's a rainy day. Rainy day, she's still tired, she's still tired. She's still tired, she wants to go to bed. Ugh. Grab a hold better. Mm -hmm. Does not want to talk today. I'm acting stupid, I know. And the phone shop thing. Oh yeah. Phone shop. Gun shop. Phone shop. Yeah. I go to a gun shop. I think that was pretty fun, Rad. It's pouring rain. Uh, I had to take my mom to uh, London. She had to pay a couple bills and. And I had 15 minutes to get from London to where I live. And that was risky in it pouring the rain. Uh, London's like 20 miles or something. Something like that ain't too far. But yeah, I made it. Dropped them off at the house. Came down here and looks like I made it just in time. Oh man. 
that was risky. Guys, if you gotta pay bills and stuff, don't do it in the evening. Do it early in the morning. If you got stuff like this, you gotta do it like take your youngins up after school or something like that. Because if you wait after the youngins get out of school, it's everything be closed, be hard. So if you got youngins go to school, you gotta pay bills, do it in the mornings. I know y'all probably like duh. It's what you gotta do anyway. Get up early in the mornings. I don't know. I should have took my mom earlier. But I'm a late bird. I gotta wake up late. Today's Friday. So. I said to be excited today. It's Friday. You can tell, guys, it's. It's raining. You can't even see my back window. Wait, looks on the camera. Uh, yeah, it's pouring rain. I think I see them, I'm not for sure. Yeah, I think I see them, guys. Mm. Scared of what? How's your day today? Good. Good? Are you happy it's Friday? Oh, yeah. I didn't even get food, and maybe it did. What? That's not right. How was the day? <laughs> What'd you get today? Oh. I got candy. What? That's not fair. What are you eating? It's Friday! It's Friday! Hey, we don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> Did you poo poo? Oh. <laughs> you poo poo. Look at mud on Wet my seat. Wet pan pants. Every time Daddy. I clean them things, they get mud back on it. Square right. pants. Square pants? How you know it's squid or square pants? Squid word. Squidward square He's pants. <laughs> you missed Spongebob square pants. That's Squidward. Look at mom. It? It's off of Spongebob square pants. Look at mom, Dad. What? What'd you get? Check it out. Let's see it. You know why it's called square, Spongebob square pants? What the world? Daddy, you know what? That's Piglet. I used to watch some shows all the time when I was little. That's him. There you go. Turn on. What are you trying to do? Step the car? You got to turn the key. I will. Guys, yeah, I don't know if you can hear the car run. I look over here, everything's nasty. But watch this. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. You can start the car Whoa. and you don't have to hold the key down. Just bump the key and let go and you just sit there and crank and it starts. I need to put this start, uh, start button in this thing. Just push the button Which one you got? and start it. So, yeah. What a, look, they got all kinds of candy to win a shine. Look, look on the dash. There we go. What? Where's my candy? Yeah, you should buy some. Oh, you just did that <laughs> for meanness. I see how you are. So y'all want me to buy my candy? You want to share? You have to buy a dollar. <laughs> Wait, a dollar? Yeah. Okay, then. Ah. So... I guess I could go buy me some candy with a dollar. <laughs> ah! All right, guys. Yeah, I was going to show you. Just look over my wipers and stuff. I'm going to show you how much everything is green now. I don't know if you always seen it in my other videos, but this is a little rolled up towards my house. And ever since it's been raining, everything is like greened out so fast. How's the saying go? Uh, May flower, my I don't know, some rain bring May April showers bring May flowers. Yeah. Is that how it goes? Yeah. April. April. Rain, April rain, May flowers. I forgot already. But anyway, guys, this April, is April, this is April awesome. rain, this is cool. May flowers. Oh, okay then. Well, got home. The electric is out. Neighbors, everybody electric's out. Don't know if tree foot on line or what, but if it don't come on, I guess it'd be a while for upload this video. Hope not. I got some pets. So, Look at this yeah. Mine. All right, electric is back on, so that's good. And I'm gonna go here and check my tracking. I ordered a package, and 
I, if I order, ever order a package again, I probably never had it shipped by FedEx. FedEx never has did this before. I have ordered a package, and I live in Kentucky, and the package is coming from Tennessee. So, it got shipped at the first, and this is my extra delivery date, estimate delivery date, is the 8th. That's Monday. That's seven days. That's a week. And usually from Tennessee with FedEx, it usually comes here in like three days, three, four days. And this is taking too long. I will never have my packages shipped by FedEx again. FedEx is getting slow. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. All right. I got back on here and I checked it to change the estimate uh, delivery date. Estimate delivery date, what do you call it? Okay, here's what I was talking about. See, it's, it's got it gets, uh, shipment information or whatever. So, it got picked up. Well, my say it got shipped out the second and the third. So, that's the fifth. And it has routed up my post office FedEx why don't you bring my package to me not the post office so now the mailman USPS be bring it to me in the morning this ain't right I will never have FedEx ship my package again and the craziest thing I don't know if y'all can see it I'm sorry for all these little lines if y'all see lines okay it comes from uh, what's the big word Tennessee Merle something Freeze from something Tennessee. Okay. And it went through the Nashville, Tennessee. That is not far from me. And uh, Independence, Kentucky. Independence, Kentucky is just above me, like two hours. Probably not even two hours. So it left there and went up to Indianapolis, Indiana. So it, Tennessee went all through Kentucky to. It's my savior straight past me because you have to go right past me to get up through here and turn around it got up in uh in, left there and it studied there forever nights and ventures took this is ridiculous it must say it took well not really not too bad on the shipment but it should have been a lot better fedex please you need to uh, check us out and Y'all need to step your game up. Come on. I guess I'm going to end the video there, guys. And have a nice day, guys. And always be safe and God bless. Hold me close till I get out.